Hello beautiful people, my name is Ifi Winner. If it's your first time watching me, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I create content around my faith, my journey with God, and also I create motherhood, you know, motherhood videos and inspirational videos. If it's something that you like, that interests you, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. I will really, 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 really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow, so please help me, help your sister out. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about another fasting, my Easter fasting in Easter. Uh, basically, the Easter fasting is like dry, nothing, nothing. There's no food, you can't get anything. So I did that for a week, okay? I want to talk a little bit about how I came up to do the Easter, sorry, the Easter, <laughs> The Easter fasting on the Easter. So basically, I, I did it around April, right? Yeah. The reason why I choose to do this fasting on, on Easter is because for some weeks before the East, before Easter week, I wanted to do fasting, but I just didn't know when, like, I, I was asking God to like, lead me to do these things because you actually you don't want to do fasting without being led by god you know what i mean so i wanted to do I, like i knew that i had to do it but you know i didn't know when you know i previous that i already did a fasting i really fasted for 10 days in january i have a video somewhere i will link it somewhere up here or up there so you guys can check it out as well great experience so this one i, I felt myself a little bit distracted so i think two days before before Easter, I was like, I want to fast. I want to fast. I wanted to fast because if you don't know, when I get stressed out, I eat a lot. I eat more than what I'm supposed to. So for four days before Easter, I was kind of I, f I found myself in that trap again. I made a video about it, so I will link it somewhere so you guys can check it out because that video, honestly, for anyone that's struggling with food disorder or like uh, binge eating or like stress or, or any type of addiction, I feel like that video is going to help you a lot. So I will link it somewhere. But anyway, back to the story. I was kind of going back to that routine. I didn't like it because it's like one day I'll be like, okay, I'm just going to eat this and that's it and i will end up eating more than what i said before i found myself like hmm i'm losing control and like i said i always said the lord has given us the spirit of self-control so when i found myself not controlling food i know that something something is wrong something is missing mm -hmm. so i just knew like lord i want to do this fasting i want to do this fasting i want to do this fasting <laughs> Um, the Lord told me, look at the calendar. So I look at the calendar and, and long and behold, the next day was going to be the Easter week. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. And I did not ask any question. So I decided that I was going to do the Easter fasting on that week. And honestly, it was beautiful. The, the best fasting I've ever had in my entire life. For this fasting, I wasn't asking God for like superficial things like, oh Lord, bring financial breakthrough. I, I wasn't asking God for all of that. I was, it was more a personal thing that I wanted to do with the Lord. It was more about myself. I wanted to see myself the, the way God sees me. In most of my videos, I always talk about self-confidence and all that stuff. So I struggled with self-confidence believe it or not i do well i want to say i used to <laughs> so uh because now i have the tools to like whenever those negative thoughts come to me i just know how to handle them so but i used to suffer from um self-esteem very low self-esteem when i talk about low self-esteem it was more very shy very introvert very like i don't want to put myself in the spot you know what i mean um and that has kept me in bondage for so many years i know that i'm supposed to do good i'm supposed to be doing great things a lot of things but those are the things that the things that i'm supposed to be doing i have to do it with confidence right but because i don't i lack confidence i will end up not doing those things you understand what i'm trying to say so this fasting for me it was more like lord i want to see myself the way you see me the way that you have created me to be that 
was my prayer request. That's what I wanted. So the Lord, oh God, what is so good. The Lord revealed that my other self. The other self is the way God sees me, right? The way I see myself is based on the way I've lived, the environment that I've lived, that I grew up, you know, all those things shape me. The way I see myself, that is who I am. But I know that it doesn't correlate with how God sees me. I wanted to see me the way God sees me. By day two, the Lord showed me and he revealed to me how he sees me. And it was so wonderful. It was so wonderful. Like everything made sense. I don't really, I have my journal here, but I really don't want to share. I don't, I think it's very personal. So I don't want to really share what the Lord told me, but pretty much to be honest, the way God sees us, it, it's actually in the Bible. It's just that with me, he went more in details, but it's actually in the Bible. We have chosen, we are chosen for greatness. We are, I mean, we are beautiful. You know what I mean? We are strong. Um, everything that you can think of that is good. That's who we are. You know what I mean? We are gifted, uh, all those things, but you know, God enter, you know, gave me more details. And that was that. I just want to keep it keep it for myself so by day three right that day three it was very rough on me man no food no type of drinks not like nothing like that it was hard day three was really hard and mind you i have kids i have a husband so i can't really tell them like hey <laughs> i'm fasting <laughs> chill you know no i was doing I, I had to do things i have to run my household and i also had to pray i have to set up time to prayers to read the word of god and all that so it was really hard day three i felt like i wanted to quit but there was something in me that i was like you can like i was like you know what i'm gonna sleep and uh, uh hopefully when i wake up i will feel different about it thank god when i wake up day four i felt way better i was stronger and i kept doing it thank Hopefully, I was able to overcome it. So, glory be to God because I knew I wanted to do it. Even though my prayer request was answered on day two, I was like, I still, I still feel like I need to stay on track, right? I need to stay to what God has told me. It's going to be a week, one week. So, <laughs> do the week. You know what I mean? On day four, wow, beautiful, beautiful. That day, the Lord revealed to me exactly who, who I was going to become. You know what I mean? Like, he revealed something that I was like, this is, this is you. He revealed like my profession. And I was like, what? Me. But it really makes sense. But like, when I received it, I was like, okay, I'm going to tell my husband because... I'm gonna tell my husband, I wrote it down, the date and everything, because I like, once I become that, like, at least my husband will know, like, I've told you. Did I not tell you that this is what the Lord told me? You know, I wanted, I wanted, like, a, a, a witness. So I told my husband, like, this is, it. the Lord has told me this. And I was super excited because I've been told that by people. Like, you are, you are, I don't want to say it's something private. I want to just keep it for myself, but it's something that by the time I become that or I, I, you know, whatever, then you guys will know, like you guys will know, but it was something I was so excited. Like God is shaping me, like all, all these things that I didn't want to be. The Lord is like, you're going to be those things, baby girl. Yes. Yes. You don't like to speak. You're going to be speaking. I'm going to be using your voice. Like, yes. For so long, I even hide myself. Like I even chose a career path, right? I chose engineering because I thought like, okay, as I become engineer, I'm going to be at the back, you know. I don't really want to be at the front like that, you know what I mean? I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to be, like, talking to people. I don't like that. But the Lord is like, <laughs> I don't like to write. The Lord is like, <laughs> I'm going to deal with you, you know what I mean? And I'm like, you know what? This time, I'm not going to hide myself. I'm here. If I'm chosen, I'm chosen. You know what I mean? And that's that's how I feel about it. After that, the rest of the days, right? I, I was hungry. I was tired. But the Lord also showed me how to deal with my emotions. Like that for me was a pretty big deal, right? Because as Christians, I think a lot of us struggle with how to deal with emotions, how to deal with anger. And the Lord really helped me and showed me how to deal with your emotions. Like don't be quick to anger right my husband was getting on my nerves but 
<laughs> because I, I wasn't getting food. Um, honestly, the Lord really helped me to deal with anger in, in such a beautiful way. Like I was just impressed of myself. I was impressed. I was impressed. And um, I love that. I love that for myself. <laughs> so it was good. Was it totally worth it? Oh my goodness, it was worth it. I mean, I encourage anyone to do fasting, but do fasting when you are led by God. For me, like I said, this is the, the most beautiful experience that I ever had, fasting. This was the best hands down because I found myself. I found the way God sees me. I found it. And, and once you find yourself, my goodness, like the enemy cannot stop you. No force of the enemy can stop you. Once you know who you are in the Lord, anybody can talk. Talk. If they want to talk, let them talk. But it will not stop the shine. I'm not going to lie to you. After the fasting, right, I'm talking about now, overall. Yes, there's fear comes, you know, uh, doubts come. But now I have the tools. I think I made a video somewhere. I will leave it up uh, where I talk about not giving more credit to the enemy. I don't have time to entertain the enemy. A lot of us entertain the enemy without even knowing. When we are entertaining the, the, the negative thoughts that the enemy throws at an, at our mind, we're actually entertaining him. We're actually giving him credit. So I don't really, I don't entertain him anymore. Before I used to entertain it. How? I would be depressed. I would be like, I can't do anything. I'm useless. I'm this. I'm that. But not anymore. I will be speaking the word of God. I know exactly what God has called me to do. I know what God wants from me and I will do it. I'm not entertaining the devil anymore. I'm not romancing. I'm not dancing with the, with the devil. I'm not doing that. A lot of us do that, but enough is enough. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. That was my experience, my Esther fasting on Easter. Uh, if you like it, if you like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. I uh, like it, like it, subscribe, and share with other people. Look, you know, in this channel, we're going to self-discover ourselves in a sense of like, we're going to see ourselves the, the way God sees us. We're going to break barriers. God is going to take us out from the cage that we found out that we are right now. Like, if we are depressed or whatever, this is the channel for you because we're not... We, we want to do the work. We're going to do the work. We're not lazy. We're not going to be lazy anymore. We're not going to be sitting down and lament. We're not going to do that. We're going to break out of the bondage. We're going to break out of any chain that the enemy has, you know, has changed us, has chained us with. Like, no, we are free. The Lord Almighty says that we are free. He died for our freedom. He really died for us to be out of bondage, to be out of sin. So we just have to believe, you know, if you like content like this please support me support this channel and the best way that you can support it that you can support me is by subscribing to the channel and sharing this channel with other people with your family members and all that so thank you so much i really appreciate you see you on the next one bye bye